Okay, we're getting close on time here, so I want to go over some commercial property valuation. Um, we're going to kind of buzz through these. There's not going to be any math examples because hopefully you guys have all licensed in here. You're all licensed, right? <laughs> so we've touched on these uh, in the licensing course, uh, but I just want to talk about them real quick. Capitalization rate or cap rates, what they call it, is the real estate measure used to compare real estates as investments. So what I'm talking about is the most common thing it's used for is so that an investor can say, well, should I buy that 10,000 square foot property a million bucks or that 200,000 square foot at 4.8 million? Um, geez, I don't know. Now, all things being equal, assuming I could get 4.8 or 1 point, the cap rate is going to is expressed in terms of the ratio between the net operating income and the value, i.e. the cost of the property. So it's going to be a return on your investment. So if I bought the million dollar property, my cap rate is 4.5%. But if I bought the four and a half million dollar, my cap rate is 6%. So on one of them, I'm making a 6% return. The other, I'm making a four and a half, well, which is better, 6%. So that's you typically what a cap rate is used for. All right. It allows you to compare investments. Now, obviously, the assumption there is that I can get 4.8 million as easy as I can get 1.8 million. And maybe that's a big, drastic example. Think about this. What about this $300,000 property that's an industrial warehouse and that $300,000 property that's an office building? Which one do I want? Well, let's compare the cap rates. That is a unitless number that allows me to determine the ratio between what it's producing and what I pay for it, okay? Gross rent multiplier. Gross rent multiplier is typically used in rental properties, um, multifamily. It's the ratio of the price uh, for the monthly rental income before expenses. So this is actually gross operating income. The capitalization rate, remember, was the net. So it took into consideration expenses. That's the problem with gross rent multiplier, in my opinion. It, if you have a high burden, and burden is a real big fancy word for expenses on a property, and you're using the gross rent multiplier, you're not even considering your expenses. It's just the gross rent on a monthly rental income before expenses. Okay. Now, the gross income multiplier is virtually the same thing. Um, it's dividing the property sale price by the gross annual rental income. So it's an annual issue. But once again, it's still gross. Meaning, if you had a large, so I made a million dollars as gross rent. But once of my expenses, which by the way, remember John, Dave, expenses don't include your mortgage payments. So throw that out because that's not an expense. But once of my expenses were really high, like I paid all the utilities and I have $750,000 in expenses. I only have a net of two fifty. So while it looks like a million dollar gross income is a good deal, I'm not really making that. So you've got to remember in the back of your mind, gross rent multiplier, gross income multiplier is before expenses. So if you remember that equation, gross rent minus expenses is net rents minus debt service, which is the mortgage payment, is your cash flow. Um, <clears throat> debt service is the mortgage payment. Just remember that. So the cap rate uses your net operating income, where the GRM and the GIM actually use the gross operating income. So keep that in mind that those are actually different um, numbers. And the capitalization rate is annual income, and the gross income multiplier is annual, whereas the gross rent multiplier is a monthly ratio. That way you can figure out how you're doing on a month-to-month -month basis as opposed to having to wait for a year, which would be using your gross income multiplier. All right. Any questions about valuation? Um, once again, no tests here, so don't worry about having to figure out, manipulate the math. Think of a cap rate, which is typically used on retail and office and industrial um, as a return on your investment. They're an ROI. If you went down to the bank and said, I got a million dollars, I want to buy a certificate of deposit, and the bank says, well, we're paying 3% return on your money, that 3% is 300 grand or 30 grand on your million, 
that's 3%. That's exactly what we're talking about. It's the ratio of what you're earning versus what you paid for it. That 3% would be a cap rate. So you could look at it like, I'm buying a property that has a 4% cap rate. Well, I'm paying a million for it. After my expenses, my net income is 40 grand. That's 4%. That's what I'm earning on my money, okay? Any questions, we'll get into uh, that or I can do a whole nother class. I'm actually doing a whole entire class on cap rate and gross rent multipliers for people that are specifically into those two types of properties. So if you want some of that, check back later and you'll get that inside of this uh, membership area.